Congratulations. 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 Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I'm going to th- right smash there. like. <laughs> that right there is now our advertisement. <laughs> I'm just cut Great. out the like, comment, subscribe. It's just gonna be that. Damn on that bell. <laughs> <laughs> Damn right. on that bell. Hi, welcome to Heat Wave. It's the podcast where we have to talk about video games at least once. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you're Otherwise, screwed. we'll go to jail. Your description of the podcast is getting more and more like coherent. Heat wave. We have a quota. <laughs> we have a quota. Heat wave. It's both a decoration and a proposition. <laughs> Heat wave. That global warming is a bitch. <laughs> and speaking of uh, heat wave. Sorry, Australia. Oh. At least we got some titties out of it. Oh yeah, that's true. What? Yeah, haven't you heard about the um, oh the oh, naked oh, philanthropists? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, I thought you were saying at least we got some titties out of Australia. I mean, we did. Which is like, I mean, you keep going. Okay. Yeah, over half of the <laughs> Earth's population is female, so like statistically speaking, <laughs> probably it's mm-hmm. been zero days since Brian left the set. <laughs> <laughs> Brian is notorious for just I'm the host. Get- Excuse me. <coughs> Brian is notorious for just like getting up and leaving in the middle of a recording session. Yeah, just and he just did it just now for those of you just listening. Yeah. All right, and I'm back. And you know what? We're Welcome gonna, to Heat Wave. We're gonna the go ahead. podcast where sometimes we talk about games and sometimes we talk about Australia. And this time we're gonna talk about Jerris's next segment. Give it away. <laughs> Give it away. <laughs> Give it away now. Give it away. You're part Give of the away. red hot Give chili peppers now. now. Yeah. Um <laughs> Friends, com- comrades, what conspiracy theory are you super interested in or super excited about? So, first of all, I thought we were in Australia. I didn't know comrades were. were uh, comrades are everywhere. Brian. I thought that was just Russia. You're derailing this. Uh, That's right. part of your Speaking conspiracy. Of, I, a better segment would have been, or a better segue would have been, oh. uh, Australia doesn't exist. That oh. is. <laughs> conspiracy there that some people have that is related to so like that, the flat earth stuff yeah. which is my conspiracy theory the flat earth uh conspiracy theory mm. that is my favorite one because it is the most easily debatable one we've known about <laughs> we've known that the earth has not been flat for like thousands and thousands of years now yeah and the, the, each time you come up with a new reason to like every time they come up with a new reason that we can easily just be like uh, no here's why that's not mm. the case yeah. they're like oh no we have some other bad shit idea the earth has got to be flat <laughs> one of my one of my favorite things about the flat earth conspiracy theory yeah shout out to Ono Ross and Kerry who did like a very long uh, series on okay. this um none of those people agree on why the earth is flat like all they agree on is just that the earth is flat. yeah yeah Mm -hmm. yeah some people think the world is a hologram some people think that we're in like an alien zoo the my favorite's the snow globe Mm, my favorite is the uh earth snow globe so we're in a snow globe and the sun and the moon (laughs) are inside of it with us no no they are uh they are are on the glass oh they're on the glass they're part of the glass I feel like that is very similar to uh, a couple of years ago. I started to read the Bible because I was like, yes. I like stories and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and the beginning where they describe. Let's like, see what this Jeebus is all yeah. about. <laughs> in the, literally in the first like part of the book. I don't know what the parts are called. Brit- Brittany's not really well versed on the I'm Bible. I'm not religious. And I just thought I would read it. Um, <laughs> they describe like how God made the earth and how they describe something very similar to that. Like mm-hmm. a sort of like a yeah. snow globe type thing. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. very similar. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's probably where that stems from maybe. Yeah, a lot of it does. Yeah. Uh, some of it's also just, um, just batshit crazy. Yeah. But my favorite <laughs> is the ones where we live on a pile of turtles. Oh yeah, turtles all the, the way down. The disc That's world the uh, yeah. Stephen King uh, uh-huh. it yeah. ending. <laughs> yeah, you know, and uh, if you read the book uh, in it, it was something like it was a turtle god or something, and mm-hmm. they had to yeah. fight the turtle god by so, having a weird orgy as children. Yes, yeah. I've That's never the, read it, but <laughs> I've never I, seen a it. A friend either. of mine has like a wonderful <laughs> tirade about. Uh, how bad at writing Stephen King is because he yeah. establishes like the blood bond and then they all fuck. Well, um, 
Yeah, that sounds right. I read like the first half of the book. Mm. Hold on, but I... <laughs> Papa bless. Sneezes. Sneezes. Oh bless. Gosh, Wait you have to make sure bless. that you dab when you sneeze. It stands for destroy all bacteria. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I only read the first half of the book, and so far I haven't come across the orgy yet. Yeah, I don't know if I'll ever read the second half of the book because the book is literally a thousand pages long, and it could easily just be five hundred. And, and it's a cocaine nightmare. Yeah, it's pretty hard to follow. Like I would read a page and then be like, "What did I just read? Let me go back and reread that." <laughs> so, <laughs> jeez. Uh, side so you should watch the new versions of it for one reason bill the first hater. bill hater yeah the first one is uh is legitimately scary the second one is fucking hilarious mm. that's what i heard yeah and it is it's a cammy yeah it's so great and yeah bill hater like kills it i'm it, really pleased that bill hater is like stretching his acty legs yes i don't know if you guys yes. have watched barry mm-hmm. yes i have i've been watching a little bit of it it's great. one of my favorite hbo i shows. know of it but i haven't watched it yet uh it is a great show yeah is, well, is bill Hader pennywise no, no he, bill Hader is one of the he's kids. one of the kids he's in uh, he's in chapter two okay so he's yeah, an adult he's like in chapter the tim curry is pennywise <laughs> well in well, my in heart the original yeah <laughs> My heart and soul. Uh, speaking of which, have you uh, watched Beyond? I think it's called Beyond the Curve, which is like a Netflix documentary about yes. flat earthers. Yes, it's pretty entertaining. I, you should watch yet. it. I need to watch. It's that. really funny. Yeah. So my favorite story about flat earthers was the guy who built a home rocket. Yeah, and <laughs> launched himself into the upper atmosphere <laughs> with a parachute. And even though he, he got himself, right? he almost killed himself. He got up there. And he saw the curvature of the earth. He confirmed he saw the earth curve. Yeah. He is sure that there's an explanation for that beyond the earth being round. Mm. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. Well, that's like, <clears throat> so this documentary on Netflix is pretty funny because it's someone's making a documentary about these people who believe in flat earth. And um, I think the people who were in the documentary agreed to it because they thought it was going to be, it was going to shed light on like right. their beliefs, but it's the opposite. It's a kind of making fun of them a little bit of like, yeah, yeah. look at these silly people, look what they believe in. And it seems like most of the people are like, I don't really, <clears throat> not sure if I believe it or not but it's nice to be part of a group is what most people said Mm. and then at the end they do this experiment where they like shine they like shine this extremely expensive laser they spent all this money on uh like a couple miles on this like board to be like if it points here then we'll know the earth is flat but if it points like lower because of the curve or whatever and it just the documentary ends on spoilers it ends on them like doing this experiment and realizing that the earth is in fact round and the guy's just like huh huh that's really interesting huh and then the credits roll (laughs) which is amazing i don't know if it's this same one but there was another flat earth documentary um and they interviewed like one of the guys who like has has kept this insane thing going Mm -hmm. um but he wanted final edit at, like he wanted to make the final cut yeah of course mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. and they're like no, no. absolutely no, 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 not no, no, no. can't have it mine is actually sort of related to that okay. it's the theory that the reality that we live within is a computer simulation and ever since we turned on the L- large hadron collider mm-hmm. the simulation is falling apart okay so i know about this one yeah i don't know about i'm this also one. a big fan of the fact that i'm pretty sure elon musk is a big proponent of it <laughs> of course he is uh-huh. he's, because he's a billionaire internet troll yes he is <laughs> he is the future and he's a nightmare <laughs> but also electric cars yay yeah, I mean, <laughs> get get what good we can out of that. Um, what about you, Hutch? Yeah. You have a favorite conspiracy um, theory? I like the one that the uh, underground of the Denver airport Ooh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. houses a secret underground city of the Illuminati. Mm. Th- uh, I'm, this is all, I don't know anything about oh, what you're saying. Oh, this, this is, is perfect. So, so I, I don't have much other than that. I think I, that's... I've you, got a couple of things. Go, go so, here. like... The construction of the Denver airport went like four times longer than it was supposed to and cost like a bunch of millions of extra dollars. Okay. Um, And people believe that there are additional rooms and additional spaces within it (laughs) Mm -hmm. um, because the math doesn't add up. And then there's other weird, crazy shit. Like there's a big, giant horse 
outside of it. They okay. call it Blucifer. It's a blue Blucifer. Mustang. Yeah. And yeah. It's a Mustang with red eyes. It's great. I saw and it. And the person who was casting the statue was killed when it fell on him. <laughs> oh. I have to go to Denver. Yeah. 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 You should look this up. <clears throat> it's like, real it's cool. It's really so great. I've heard, about the do- I've heard about the horse. Yeah. Because you showed me the horse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I don't remember uh, the Illuminati bullshit. Mm. So so it's cool because they're doing a lot of construction around there right now. Mm. And they've got a bunch of ads that like yes. play yeah. into those uh, theories. They're like murals. Okay. That's like reptilian oh. eyes and, oh my and God, stuff I like that. I mean, that. yeah, I, that's kudos to their marketing team to right. like know that Absolutely. the stuff's like floating around about them and just give it into that. It's just very entertaining. Yeah, it's, it's all amazing. stuff. <laughs> it's all stuff that's like... Uh, sorry for the mess. We're uh, refurbishing the Illuminati, the secret <laughs> Illuminati meeting room in the basement. I, God, it's fantastic. So that's well, like wow. one of my favorite things about like social media and like brands getting Twitter accounts and stuff is yeah, like yeah. these the the uh, self awareness yeah. of brands, which I. Super but that appreciate. one's in real life. If the, that's a real life ad, yeah. though, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's even better. Yeah. Mm. All right, well, Brittany, I know so you got us some my, wild fucking my bullshit. My favorite one. I have a little. I love conspiracy theories. I love to. Um, I love to talk about them and discuss them. I don't think I really believe in any like conspiracy mm-hmm. theories, though. Like I'm interested, but not like. Yeah. I believe this. Um. So I have here one of my. This is legit. One of my favorite books. I thought it was your favorite book. Yeah, like, it is my favorite book. Uh, it's called Rant, and it's by Chuck Palahniuk. You love I'm not sure Club if fame. I say his last name oh. right. I just call him Palahniuk. But yeah, he is the man who wrote a uh, Fight Club, and mm-hmm. he writes a bunch of like really weird shit. And this particular <laughs> book, it has a lot of things going on with it. I don't even know how to describe it because first of all, it's an oral biography, which means that like. He, he it's fictional but he like interviewed all these like uh different characters and mm-hmm. sometimes uh, the nature of like memories and oral biographies is that sometimes the facts contradict each other mm-hmm. so two people can be talking about the same situation yeah. but it could be really different and because of that it makes this book kind of hard to understand i had to read it a couple times to fully get it but it has to do with a man who contracted rabies mm-hmm. and he spread rabies to an entire population because apparently rabies makes you super horny i don't know if this is true or not but it is in the book at okay. least uh, and then he discovered this thing called party crashing where everyone gets into their cars and they they bump into each other and like crash or whatever. And well, he, on purpose. Yeah, on purpose. Mm-hmm. And he found out a way to um, crash his car so hard that he went back in time <laughs> and had sex with his mother and became his own father and thus became a god. <laughs> oh, and he continues to do this through the generations. So this book is a little weird, <laughs> but it talks Maybe. a lot. It talks a lot about conspiracy theories, and this is my one of my favorite ones that came across because I was like, "Holy fuck, this could potentially be true." Mm. Um, so this is based on a real report that was submitted to the Security Council in 1974, and mm-hmm. you can look it up. It's called the Henry Kissinger Report. Okay, and it basically warns that the greatest threat to the future of American is overpopulation in third world countries. And if we wanted to see America survive, we needed to depopulate those third world countries. So that is 100% true. You can look that up. That is true. So this is the part where the conspiracy theory comes in, which is like, I'm not sure this could be true or not. All of the wars and shit. So it said that um, the book simply says like, after explaining all that, it said, should we be surprised that the AIDS virus showed up in Africa in about 1975, which is like when the epidemic happened? Um, and the the first explosion of AIDS infections in, African, in Africa started in missionary hospitals where Christian volunteers reused the same needles to vaccinate local kids against smallpox and, and diphtheria. So it's kind of like, <clears throat> ooh, okay. So we had this like really radical, like, bill like proposed yeah. the security council mm. and now like here's the explosion of aids in africa yeah and it said that um between 1976 and 1980 the infection curve rose from 0.7 percent to 40 percent in some parts of west africa mm-hmm. and the places that were hit the most were let's see here uh Botswana, Zimbabwe, and South Africa, and mm. those are the ones that have they're rich with uh, resources like gold and diamonds. Yeah. So if you think about like the continent of Africa is fucking huge, yeah. and it oh, has yeah. a ton of like natural resources and mm. precious minerals and precious stones. And honestly, if like 
colonizers didn't come in and fuck over those countries, they would be very powerful, rich countries. Yeah. And they explored that a little bit in um, in Black Panther too. Yeah. Uh, so it's interesting that like that part of it is the is the conspiracy theory right. that we inv- knowingly infected <clears throat> the AIDS virus to yeah. keep the third world under control. Well, and that. Um, but it's also like kind of believable in a way, yeah. you know. I mean, there, like based there are on a couple the, of those, like yeah. the the crack epidemic, mm-hmm. um, heroin epidemics, uh, HIV. AIDS. What, what's the one where I, I forget what it, I forget what the disease was? It starts with an S, but we infected a lot of black men in the syphilis. south. With it? Syphilis. Syphilis. I talked uh, about this too. Mm-hmm. That's also in this book. It's okay. the Tungsky experiment. Yeah, Tungusky. Tungusky. We're fucking that up. Tuskegee. Tuskegee. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, they infected all of these African-American men. I think it was like in Alabama. And they just let syphilis go on them. Yeah, it was yeah. Like and an they experiment. Just, yeah, and the only reason that it came into public knowledge was because like a whistleblower reported it to the, I think it was a newspaper called the Washington Evening Star or something like yeah. that. And that's not even, that's not a conspiracy theory. That's been that's proven. true. That's yeah. the truth. And that's, yeah. that's part of the yeah. thing. Yeah. So this book ex- explores all of, it, it explores a lot of biological, uh, like warfare and, and experiments yeah. and shit like that, because this book talks about rabies because in this, this is the, like a book based in the future where, there is an overpopulation problem with the cities. So they have people who have to come out at night and people who come out in the daytime. Mm-hmm. And the people who have to come out at night are kind of like the lower class citizens. Okay. Okay. And so the rabies goes hand in hand with kind of like. Poorness. Yeah. Poorness. And like uh, they compare it to like uh, like vampires and like mm-hmm. werewolves and stuff because they're like nighttime people. Okay. And in this book, like the nighttime people are getting like shot by police because they think they're all infected with rabies. So, oh, okay. Yeah, it's interesting. So it talks a lot about that. Oop. Well, up. Oh, yep, we just voted for five Our more minutes. minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like, so I'm I'm uh, in the camp of more readily available to believe that, mm-hmm. um, and partially because the our wonderful government has done some. I think something happened with the thing. No, it okay? doesn't. It's okay. fine. Um, has done some fucked shit, yeah. especially in the 70s, especially targeting black people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't know. One of my one of the things that I was reading about is a like this intelligence group in the FBI that <laughs> their entire purpose was to discredit Martin Luther King Jr. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And they some of it was synthesized. Some of it was like actual things that happened mm-hmm. but they would just mail letters to everyone in his family accusing him of various different terrible things and, yeah. and try to get stories published about that so i i can definitely see like that jingoistic slant of the american government yeah. just kind of going in that direction and saying like yeah fuck it let's let's see what we can do with some aids yeah so th- yeah <clears> not, <throat> so my favorite conspiracy theory, I feel like, is more fun than yours. Yeah, Because sorry. I know it's not true. <laughs> like, I can prove yeah. that the Earth is... Sorry has to occurred. come to the table with something pretty grim, but... No, I mean... No, like, no, that's, that's good. That's, that's the yeah. question. You yeah. can go no, in no. either direction. I'm not... I'm not I like this one in particular because it's... There is some facts yeah. to it. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, yeah, I could totally see this happening. Yeah. Like, if someone... If, like, something came out that could prove, without a doubt, that right. we infected the AIDS virus to the rich countries in africa yeah 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 then i would be like yeah that fucking makes sense that sounds like some bullshit that sounds that like we some would dumb do. shit we would try <laughs> yeah i so. I'm, I'm increasingly like as i've gotten older <clears throat> like i am and this is hard to say after the context of what we've just talked about i'm often i'm proud to be an american but um it is often in every country this is the case though but yeah. i'm often like taken back by like what that implies based mm-hmm. on our history yeah so it's um well and and you can like be critical yes, of absolutely. things that the country has done yeah, wrong exactly <clears throat> but um, that is that's so how you, wrong that's that, how that's, you get better is yeah. being critical of things but and that's it's not my a lack of criticalism it's more like mm-hmm. to me that that would be like well, that idea didn't work. Let's try again. Let's yeah. do a new country now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gotcha. America too. Yeah. This yeah. time with equality. Yeah, that'd be nice, right? <laughs> um, 
But so it's one of those things that just like irks the shit out of me that we're just like, eh. Most of us, most of us, yeah. like as yeah. a whole during that time period when we learn about those things, we're just like, well, shit, that was fucked. Yeah. 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 Like, um, <clears throat> but it, if anything, it gives you more reason to be skeptical about what's happening today. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Especially considering our current administration. Like, Jet fuel can't melt steel beams. So that right there <laughs> is. For to say I, that. So that one and the Pentagon one. I'll tell you what. For the longest time, which one's the Pentagon one? Where uh, a plane didn't hit the Pentagon, but a missile was fired and fired uh, into it. Because they supposedly never found any plane parts or anything, and you know, there's like a giant hole in the pen. And gone, it's like, what? If, if someone was able to give me proof of one way or the other, I would feel more comfortable about that one. Mm. Because I'm either way on the Pentagon one. Mm. Yeah. Like, realistically. And I, I feel weird saying that. I kind of think about this conspiracy theory. Yeah. yeah. But, like, I sat there, watched it live, and our memories don't exactly mean facts. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. So, I'm questioning my own memories here. Yeah. And you should. You, like reevaluate the but the video footage i remember seeing of the pentagon getting attacked looked like a missile mm. it didn't yeah. look like a plane well i mean i think also too particularly with the 911 one is there's a lot of jokes that go around about it but mm -hmm. um like even if it was something that our government did that's not to diminish the fact that so many lives were lost it, yeah, and it was an extremely scary situation yeah. um but i also if there was like proof that like hey the government did this i'd be like yeah okay i believe that too but also let's <laughs> arrest those people yeah, yeah. yeah like, yeah, fucking, like yeah. immediately yeah that's the issue too i feel like with a lot of uh theories revolving around governments doing really terrible things is that no one's really held accountable it's it, kind of yeah, like they get taken the out government of power, that's it. it's like the, the government did this thing uh it was bad we're sorry, you know, yeah. and it's mm -hmm. like, okay, well, great. Is somebody going to go to jail for this or what? Test my no. accountability, please. Yes. It's like, it's like large companies. Like they're, yeah. mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, I, I think we're at a place in our lives and reality and world where we realize that things that we thought had consequence, uh, don't always yeah you know like depending on who you are depending or on how you big are, your pocket is exactly mm -hmm. or or you know poor people will get the short end of the mm -hmm. stick and people who are not poor um can get away with a lot of shit yeah that's why we should eat the rich eat the exactly. rich eat them and with that we'll see you on the next uh segment <laughs> thank you for watching <laughs> bye hasta luego bye <laughs>